and you know, give you guys a quick portfolio update on some of the things that I've been doing in my portfolio. As you can see, I'm still gaining a little bit. I've had a decent return of the amount of money that I've actually put in. I've put in 280 bucks and I've gotten five bucks back. And uh, it's my overall, it's been good. It looks for the most part, everything looks good on the companies that I've held and I'm holding. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But the moves that I made this week for the most part is, I'm, like I said last week, I'm trying to limit my exposure just to companies that I actually understand what is going on rather than just holding companies that I believe everyone just talks about, oh, these are good companies. This is good companies, but actually companies and some of the things that I've been talking about, about actually researching the companies that you own and those kind of things, especially when it comes to buying single stocks rather than what I do on uh, Robinhood, which is basically where I own ETFs, which is different. So for the most part, I've been trying to minimize and limit my exposures to specific companies that I act that are in my peripheries that I actually use or I actually know how the company operates. Like I understand how they spend their money. I understand the holdings that they have. I understand the way that their net income is coming in, how they're making money, those kind of things. So that's some of the things that I've been doing. So I sold out of NRZ, um, even though they paid pretty good dividends. I sold out of NRZ and I also sold out of IBM. These are two companies that I truly, to be honest, I don't know a whole lot. I know IBM a little bit more about IBM because I'm a tech head. So I know a lot more about tech companies, but however, I don't think IBM in the long, in the long term is a company that I want to hold. So I sold out of IBM and I dove into Microsoft and Apple and NRZ. I just went straight into Realty Income Corp. And I understand more of the structure of the 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 leases the leases well the people that own that realty into income corp properties that lease out realty income corps properties so i sold out of nrz and went sh put all that money into uh realty income corp because i just know their structure a little bit better the type of properties that they own and those kind of things and then again like i said every two weeks i'm going to be depositing 40 dollars into this account and so that $40 came in and I focused most of my energy on the um, consumer area. So I put a lot of more money into the consumer area because I feel like that's where a lot of opportunities are available because a lot of those companies are really cheap right now. A lot of tech companies are still doing really well, are doing very, very well because tech didn't really slow down much. A lot of earnings just got announced and tech didn't really get hit that bad. Actually, they did a lot better, especially the companies that I own in text, which is, uh, let's go back to my portfolio, the technology companies that I own, which is Apple and Microsoft. Apple did decent, they didn't do great. They kind of just kind of flatlined because not a whole lot of people were buying new iPhones or anything like that. So they kind of flatlined, but also Apple is doing a trajectory change where they're starting to focus more on software more than hardware. So, uh, but, so you had that, but Microsoft did really, really great, even with this whole pandemic going on. So that's why I'm switching gears a little bit to start focusing on industries where things are going to be cheaper, where things are going to be more cost effective. My dollar is going to go further because one of the most important things you have to do is you can't just dive into companies and just buy companies because, oh, it's a good company. You got to know what is a good price for you. One of the most important things, just like when you go buy a meal or when you go go shopping for a new bag or for a new hat or whatever, one of the things you always look at is what is that price? And it's the same thing with the stock market when you're investing is you have to, for yourself, you have to determine, is this a good price for me to buy? Is this too expensive or is, is this a very good price for me? And so some companies that I'm looking at and I'm thinking this is a great price that I'm looking at to buy right now would be Disney. Coca-Cola, Costco, well, Costco is still way up there. So I'm slowly, I'm doing the dollar cost averaging for Costco and Walmart. These two are more, are going to be very heavy dollar cost averaging. So I see both the, ex, so I see both the really expensive and really cheap. And so that way it can average out to me, not buying that much for those. But Disney and Coca-Cola are two of the companies within the consumer segment that I'm focusing on buying a good share and a good amount of. The other one that I'm looking at uh, investing more in is utilities main basically because utilities are staples like they're stapled in our society everywhere they're always going to be around at least 
in my lifetime. I believe they're going to be around for the long term. And also it's an industry that I, I do work in this industry. So I know a lot about what's happening in the utilities industry and the moves that they're making to ensure that they continue to serve people and do what they need to do to make sure that they're meeting the needs. So I know how the structure works. So I kind of have an understanding, a more baseline understanding on what businesses to to put my money to. So that's another one that I did a lot of. If we go back to my activities page and I did a seven buys, it was Next Next Terra, which I believe is a really good one, uh, Southern Company and Duke. I did a lot of buying for those companies. And of course, as we just talked about, I did some buying of Costco, did some buying for uh, Walmart, did some buying for Disney, and of course, Coca-Cola. These companies, I just believe that right now things may seem tough, which is why I think it's a good time to buy them cheap for our dollar cost averaging purposes so that later on I can see more of those growths. So that's the moves that I'm making as far as my uh, M1 finance inve- uh, investment por- uh, portfolio is going. Those are the moves that I'm thinking about making or not just thinking about making, but actively pursuing and making. I also changed my balance out of the way that my portfolio is balanced out. As you can see, tech is always going to be the biggest thing because I read a lot about tech. I know about more about tech than I do anything else. So I would really, that would be a major segment that I invest a lot into. And of course, consumer is the next biggest thing because those two usually can carry the most growth potential. I have the most growth potential of anything else. My basic fallback plan is utilities, which I'm probably going to up that a little bit more because utilities, I just feel like they can carry me further utilities. And of course, real estate gives you a whole pays better dividends. But again, you have to know the real estate companies that you want to invest in. And that's why I chose uh, Realty Income Corp. It's always hard for me to say that name. Their name is so hard for me to to say. I don't know why it's so hard, but it just is. You guys try saying it. Realty Income Corp. It just just doesn't flow out the tongue that easily. But anyway, the other one that I'm thinking about doing a little bit more on is industrial. So industrial would be any company that kind of makes the product for other products to be made. So think 3M. 3M makes a whole bunch of different things, especially right now. They make a lot of the different masks. So 3M, but then on the other side, they also make all the sticky pads that we use. They make all the all the the cling film that we use, the things that we use to wipe our glasses, the things that we use to wipe our computer screens. They make all kinds of different things. So they're like an underlying industry that basically create things for other industries. So that's one thing that I will be looking at investing more of. And even in companies like waste management, even in other manufacturing companies, companies that in the long run will always just seem will seem to always just be around in a sense. So that's some of the other things that I'm looking at moving into. And then if you go into my transfers and looking at oh, not transfers, let's go research. So going into my research. Some things that other industries that I'm thinking about investing into, but I got to do my research to know when is a good time for me to go ahead and buy, but they are so cheap right now. It's so tempting. One of the biggest ones that I really want to get into is oil and the energy sector because these companies are so cheap right now. I'm talking about Exxon. I'm talking about Chevron. I'm talking about Royal Dutch Shell, which are some of the largest uh, oil companies in the world. And I'm just thinking these First of all, they pay a very good dividend, but also they have a very good balance sheet to be able to survive this whole pandemic that we're going through. And which leads me 